Welcome to Mug City, everyone. Don't think I've had a gust of fresh air in weeks. Let me show you this little shop. How cute is it? There's all the crazy shit in the window. Literal treasure. Oh, what the hell's that? Oh, that door knocker. We are out delivering, doing some post office errands. A little vintage uh, order shipment. And I'm going to go home and I'm going to show you what I have recently got on Vinted. So stay tuned. I am sick to death of this fucking weather. I am not a summer girl. In fact, summer makes me just want to go into full hermit mode. Why would I want to be sweating my tits off outside when I can just be in my house like 10 steps away from my shower? It's awful. I'm, I just like, I cannot be asked to go out at the minute. I'm here today with an absolute mammoth haul for you because for months and months and months, I didn't shop at all. I just wasn't like, it just didn't feel like that it was floating my boat. And I thought every time I went into the shop, I got a huff and puffy. So I left. Um, but recently in the last like two weeks, I have been so deep in Vinted. I'm going to even say that I bet my screen time time's about 28 hours a day because I'm on Vinted that much. I love it. I have a lot of little, little uh, methods that I use to kind of find what I think are really cool things. So I'm just going to show you. I'm going to show you all the things that I've gotten. There's quite a lot. Um, but bear in mind, I didn't shop for about six months. So I'm making up for lost time. One thing I challenged myself to do was actually buy more shorts. These being the first pair that I bought. But in true me fashion, being that allergic to summer, they're only, they're only wool. They're only made of wool, aren't they? Nothing summery about them. But they are great. I'm not, I don't know why, but I absolutely hate getting my legs out. That's why I always wear trousers or like a long, something long. I cannot bear getting my legs out. I've always felt really uncomfortable with it. So and these feel like a happy medium, a bit bermudery, but they're great. Black and gray pinstripe. I love any kind of color combo that's like black and brown or black and gray or even navy and black. I think they're, I don't know, I think they really complement each other. So these were the first thing that I actually got. Um, and I, I actually, I actually love them. When I first got them, I was really disappointed because I thought they were a bit little, I thought they were a bit shorter. But now, I'm actually glad they're not because I think they look way better like this. So this is the first thing. Chill. Now I'm not sure I'm brave enough to don each item to show you what it looks like on. Um, because I am absolutely soaking wet right now. As you can imagine, because I'm wearing wool and polyester. I'll hear nothing about it. Alrighty. Now, something I, like, if you've watched any of my uh, recent videos, you'll probably have seen, uh, it's a set, because I've been trying to up my set game a little more, and it's actually this set. It's like a linen cotton blend with like a couple of smoking kids on it. It's so good. I do look like a little bit of a potato farmer in it, but I'm not mad about that. I feel like anything that kind of nods to be in a, a like a like a uniform, it's got my name written all over it. And the the trousers are have these like the cool little patterns on the background, and then they have like you know like a kind of pin. It's not a pinstripe, is it? It's just like a piping at the side. Let me stand up and see if you can get the full effect. Picture this. Cute, right? Love it. I have worn it quite a lot already, which if you ask me, it's really brave because it's definitely too hot to be wearing that. Um, I, I, I suffer from something that's called, um, I, whatever I feel like wearing that day, I have to wear it, um, otherwise I don't feel right. Do you know, do you, does anyone else suffer from that? Have a look at this face sheen. Sweat, baby. This next thing is, I think is actually my, my, the best purchase I've made in my entire life. I think you'll understand why. And I, I hope I can show this because it's explicit. Can you see what I can see? That's um, a runaway cloud groom being chased by a very booby cloud lady. 
Now they are teeny weeny, teeny weeny. So they are full arse out. But to be fair, that seems to be like a running theme, tits out and arse out. And on the back, this is the bum, we've got thundercloud, which, hang on. Oh, that's her. Is that her? I don't know, but either way, we've got thunder, thunder ass, if you will. And then the happy couple. They're going in the hall of fame. I love them. I love them so much. Like I, I feel like the wearability of them is probably on like a, a zero to one. Um, but I feel like they deserve to be like displayed. Maybe I need like a, like a frame for them. I love them so, I, I cannot tell you how much I love them. <sighs> they make me literally so happy. The next set of shorts is, um, Something I've been trying to find for ages. I really wanted some like boxing shorts because like I was saying earlier, I like a kind of big baggy short over like a teeny weeny short. Cause I just, I prefer to be a bit more covered up, you know? Um, and I found these. These were post America and post my America visit and they felt absolutely appropriate. Now the thing, the only thing is with them, they are like bin bag material. Can you hear how loud they are? And I don't know if I'm in the business for having just like really loud clothes. Um, loud visually, yes. Loud hearingly, no. These are hilarious like Americana boxing shorts. And to be fair, I've worn them quite a lot too. I just think they're hilarious. It's very rocky. Um, how many Rockies are there? Six? Very rocky seven. Going straight to rehearsals. So they're great. And actually, do you know what I saw the other day, which really made me laugh? Like I saw a tweet that someone said something like, um, where, where, are all the, where are all the girls in their summer dresses? Because why are you all suddenly wearing, dressing up like boxers or something like that? And not a true tweet has ever been twoed. I've kind of, do you know what? I've got like little categories going on. I've got a little two of everything. Good for me, two pairs of shorts. And then I've got two new bags, which I'm super pleased with because my bags have completely fallen apart. Uh, I used because I, I wear them every single day. But this is like my dream size bag. I like a little teeny tiny bag because um, I I'm a bit of a booger for whatever size bag I have. I will fill it to the brim. I will absolutely cram it. So I've kind of forced myself into just getting over that and and um, only using like little bags. And this one is so cute. She's like a little bit of a fuzzy kind of like, she's almost a bit like a carpet bag, but I love these colors. It's actually, look at these perfect outfit vibes of the day. And I love her. And it, honestly, it's a bit like a bucket bag in that it, it, it's like Mary Poppins, loads fits in that. So this is bag numero uno. I was super happy with this one. And then bag numero dos is this little leather, like Spanish leather bag. It's got kind of like red, it looks a little bit like giraffe print, but the details are red. And um, it's just got a slightly longer strap because sometimes it's a pain in the ass to have to carry everything in your hand. But again, similar size, the perfect size. Now my friend Izzy and I were talking about like, what's our summer looks gonna be? What are gonna be like our go-to kind of like uniforms? You know, like if you kind of have an idea of, oh, oh bloody hell. You know, an idea of the kind of things you wanna wear it just makes getting dressed a little bit easier, especially when it's 1000 degrees. And my decision was some kind of like onesie jumpsuit thing. And I say that, have a onesie jumpsuit thing a single time in the last six months since it's been summer in the fiery pits of hell? No, of course I haven't. But these are the ones that I got. They're both like dead stock. This one, it isn't 70s. Um, I actually think it's not vintage. But this one is very, very 70s track star. And the vision was basically this with some kind of big chunky belt um, and potentially a boot. I don't know, yet to, yet to delve into that. Maybe I'll try to wear it this week. Wait, it's, it's honestly the softest thing I've ever felt in my life. It's like butter and also love green. Now the second one is vintage. This is a really, really cool, very, it's a little bit Star Trekky, but it's actually like a full, a full piece. Now you might be like, the proportions of that are bizarre, and you would be completely right. The proportions are bizarre. This body 
No one's got a body that small. There's no way. It's, it's hard to get on. It's really hard to get on and I actually can't do the zip myself. I can just about do it. Although someone did give me a good tip the other day. It's like hook a hanger in the back and like pull it up, which is genius. So I'm actually gonna try that. It's got this emblem there. Here's a little old tag, dead stock tag. Uh, I reckon it's just like a 90s kind of um, old like gymnastic kind of onesie piece thing. Um, but it does, as it stands, like if my shoulder's there, it, put, it needs to go down there. So it does kind of cut me in half. But I'm not ready to give up on her. I'm having a vision of maybe wearing this with some kind of like, like picture this, wearing that with some kind of like wrap around skirt, but that doesn't like wrap around completely. So it's almost like a little apron, but at the side for a kind of like extra layering piece. I think it's too hot to do that right now, but that's what I wanna, that's what I wanna achieve. I've become, I've become really um, quite obsessed with like body suits. I just think I'm, um, I'm no stranger to little top big pant. That tends to be my go-to um, format for an outfit. So body suits are a kind of great way to have like a really tight fitted top. And because they go all the way down, it stays fitted and it doesn't like ride up against your trousers, which I think is fucking annoying. I found this one. This is like an 80s bodysuit. It's got a bat wing and then these neon cuffs. Isn't that cool? I just love little details like that. I like, I think I've given in that. I like kind of simple, I like a simple formula, but with like a little extra pizzazz, wh wherever that might be, whether it's like in the cut of something, the color, the texture, whatever. And I think the pizzazz of this one is the arms, obviously. Again, I'm not, do this, the, the reason I went ham on Vinted was to give myself some more pieces for summer. Have you seen a single thing that I can wear in summer yet? From the wool shorts to the head to toe onesie to the full length bodysuit. No, not a summer piece in sight. I know I said those hilarious shorts are my favorite thing, but the, they, did, they get points deducted because they're not very wearable. This, however, is definitely up there in the favorites too. It's this little denim, like, top it kind of looks like um like a bulletproof vest it's so lara croft look at the back it's got like a, a car seat buckle and then these straps and i love i, I like things that show my back because i have the three line tattoo that goes down my spine and it's never on display so this is literally the perfect top for it and i love it i just think simple yet so effective and the fact that it's a kind of like this denim fabric and inside is like a, a cotton layer now it doesn't have it doesn't have any kind of tag i think it did but any information's come off it um so i have absolutely no idea where this might have come from once upon a time but she's with me now and she's gonna have a very happy life i'm sure then i challenged myself to get some new shoes because my shoes I, I get like really hyper fixated on shoes and I, I rotate the same maybe three pairs of shoes um, until what feels like the end of time. And that's what's been happening with these silver loafers. They were originally from Zara, but I, I got them from Vinted and I wear them every single day. And honestly, I'm really, I'm getting, starting to get paranoid about them falling apart because I rely on them. They go with everything. I'm gonna try and find like a second backup pair, but I love that it's got a square toe, the silver, such a great touch to outfits. So I went on like um, a deep dive into some loafers and I wanted something like a bit, like something fun with a twist. And I found these, which I think fit that brief. They're like a cow print loafer with like a, uh, the silver bar across. Now the thing is I was a bit pissed off because, um, they are, they fit me, but they are actually the size bigger than what she listed. But I think with a loafer, you can kind of afford to size up. They're kind of too wide for my feet. And I, I feel like I'm wearing like clown shoes, which doesn't necessarily make me mad, but I don't know. It makes me feel a little bit like, like I'm clomping around, but either way, they are great. I wish the toe was square. I'm a square toe gal as everyone and their dog is at the minute, is, is like wearing cowboy boots. And 
typically I never I could never really wear a boot apart from those the my big chunky black ones which maybe you'll remember from like my older content that I wear all the time and it's because I've got big I've got a chunky calf I've got essentially I've got a calf a calf that should be um made it's made for cycling if I'm honest with you but the money you'll have to pay me to get on a bike I tell you I got these cowboy boots and I Definitely outdid myself with this find. These are 20 euros, and I remember that very specifically. The other items, I don't I don't think I've paid more than 15 euros for anything else here. If that, that's like top end. Like, I mean, the set that I showed you first was probably about 15 euros. Everything else would have been about 10 and under. I am not a big spender on vintage. I'm a, I'm a quality spender on vintage. Anyway, these are the cowboy boots. Aren't they cool? Look, they've got these like floral, like, and star, like. And to, um, to my surprise, they fit, I can get my calf in it, which I've never had before. But, 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 here's the, um, here's the twist. I don't like them. I feel silly in them. And I don't know if it's just because I'm just not used to wearing the big boo. And I feel like, but I feel like they cut me in half. Do you see what I mean? Well, you don't because I'm laying on the floor, but they're so cool though. They're like the coolest cowboy boot I've ever seen. But it's like the bit around my ankle is too, it's too baggy. But if it wasn't baggy, I would not be able to get it over my calf. So it's like, it's a bit of a double-edged sword. So I don't know what to do about these. I'm gonna to have to talk myself into it. And I think I don't like that the toes little. I mean, now I'm looking at them in the camera, I'm like, they're really cute. But when I've got them on, I feel, I just feel silly. So this is, might be, it's not a fail because they're incredible, but it might be a fail in terms of like, I'm probably, I'm probably not gonna wear them that much. So I need to decide what to do about them. Maybe I should let them go. Maybe they're not meant for me. I've only got two more things. The first thing being this. They were from the same seller actually, and she was so sweet. I actually got three things from her, but I can't remember what the third thing was, and uh, uh, nothing's jumping out to me. And she, I got I got all of these, listen, listen. Do you know how good I am at shopping? I got all of these three things, I'm gonna only show you two of them though, for 12 euros, 15 including delivery. The first thing is this like 80s ribbed, dress like asymmetrical dress that has pop buttons all down the side i haven't actually even tried this on yet because it's quite thick but isn't that cool i'm excited about that and the tags it's like a french an old french brand i was chuffed about that one and then the finale is another set. This, uh, this is what caught my eye originally when I when I found this seller. Um, but on reflection, it's so Santa. It might be too Santa, but the beauty of a set is you don't have to wear it together. You can wear them separate, right? This is it. It's giving marching band, which I love but it's got like this kind of double, double, double breast situation with like a little uh, velvet trim on the cuff. So fun, but where it loses me is the trousers. And these look like what I imagine Father Christmas, Papa Noel would wear to sleep in. Do you see what I mean? But they're still cool. I mean, the novelty, I might be here for the novelty, but that means that they're going into, they're going into hibernation until December. But it's got like, again, the, the same kind of like silver buttons with that and the cuff. And they kind of go a little bit like, um, what are the, the style of trousers called when they go out at your hips? Like, a, like an old kind of 30s style, 40s style. But that's that. And here's the top. Oh, it's so Santa, jeez. I'm not, I'm not ready to give up on it yet, so we'll see, we'll see. But that's everything. I think that was a really good haul, if I do say so myself. I haven't done a haul in ages. I've decided as well, I'm gonna stop using the word haul, because it's something about it sounds greedy. 
Instead, I'm going to start using the phrase show and tell, because let's be honest, I do a lot of telling, a lot of talking. So that's where we're at. My vintage show and tell. I hope you enjoyed it. What was your favourite? I think, yeah, I'm sticking firm with the denim top and the boob shorts as my faves. Great vibes. So after three, we'll, we'll, give, um, we'll give a shout out to Vinted, the best online secondhand shopping website. If you ask me, they got Vinted. And that's all. I hope you have a nice day.